told me a lot about it. He probably missed you very much. He's sorry he couldn't pick you up at the airport, but uh, he couldn't leave the mine. Mines are very jealous, like most females. Is a mine a female, Pepe? Yes. No matter how hard you try, a mine won't surrender if you're not lucky. Come on, Pepe. Let's go to the mine right away. truth of today. Today our fantasies are much more sophisticated. Yes, like uh, dreaming of oil. All right. Okay, then yours. What a piece. Uh, candy made in the shape of mummies. This was the other uh, mummy yummy. Oh, I'm a cob. Yeah. You want one? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. We have problems. What's the matter? Well, they're not going to work and they're not going to let anyone else work, so you better get out of here quick. I've got an idea. We're going to go down into the mine, you and I. 
We're going to go down into the lowest level. If they see a woman going down there and coming back safely, how can they refuse? Come on. Besides, you and I can be alone. Come on. me down here. This must be it. This is what they're afraid of. This is a torture chamber. Wow, look at this. Must be hundreds of years old. something. Get, get a board or something. I don't can't get out of here. Get a board. Hurry up. I think it's a cultist temple. 
devil worships. Well. Oh, oh babies. Well, he's got to be a prank. This statue is missing a hand, too. If this mine is cursed, here's their demon. Rats. Devil! We have broken your curse! Well, now the miners will have to come back to work. Vamos! Here's your devil's hand. Peppy, tell him then go back to work. What to be afraid of? What to be afraid of? What's the matter with you? Huh? What's the matter? All right then. Go away. I'll get someone else to work his mine. Don't get up. Do you know what I've done? You realize all the money I borrowed? I feel like some fool takes all his grandmother's money and goes to Las Vegas and loses it all. Then blows his brains out. It's going to be all right. Look, I have a surprise. Some champagne.
a nightmare? It's just a dream, that's all. Then how I'm glad you. into the mine. You mean they went back into the mine? Si, senora. He's crazy. He forced them to go down there. Mrs. Mark Baines, and I wondered if you'd seen this man. Mm, another Mrs. Mark Baines. If you knew how many Mrs. Baines had been in this hotel today, you'd lie down on the floor and laugh yourself silly. Well, well, I'm sorry, but I am Mrs. Jennifer Baines, and my husband is in trouble. Well, I'm sorry, madam. It's, it's a policy of this hotel not to give out information about hotel residents. If you'd like to contact them through the house phones, they're right around the corner. Yes, Mr. Mark Baines, please. He's not taking any calls? 
Well, would you mind paging him, please? Mr. Morbet, call the operator, please. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He didn't get an apparatus on him. Nothing. Not a thing. Is he all right? He's all right. You okay, son? Huh? Yeah, yeah there he is. Wake up, Bozo. Let's go. Yeah, it's lucky. He went the wrong way. The money's at the safe casino. We don't want your money, pinhead. I want to know how you did it. What? Meets this attractive people? No, no, I want to know how you threw 23 straight passes without switching the dice. That's what I want to know. How'd you do that? Beginner's luck. Well, let me tell you about luck. There's an easy way and a hard way. Now, the easy way, you tell us we let you go. We all cash in, get rich. And the hard way? Cut those hands off. Feet under the coyotes. That's Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Were they men? Yeah, both. One was a gambler. His name was Frankie Phillips. He's got the usual rap sheet. Extortion, fraud. Who was the other one? Well, he was badly burned. They assume it's the owner of a neighboring shack. That was Mark. What? Well, some relative supposedly identified the body. Uh, they shipped it to Los Angeles for burial. It's our Lady of Hope Cemetery in Englewood. Might want to check that out. I will. Confusion, Father, stirring inside of me. Father, I ask your forbearance. I ask deliverance from now. Amen. is closed. Oh, I didn't know God punched a clock. No. No, he's available to anyone at any time. His emissaries, though, are, are merely human. Good, because then you'll understand the problems of another human being. The man you buried was my husband. Did you ever see the body? No. Was an autopsy ever performed? Well, it wasn't necessary. The poor man was burnt beyond recognition. I'm going to insist that the grave be opened. Well, you'll have to talk to all the officials. You know, basically, the unearthing of a body is, is legally complex. You're going to need a good reason, Mrs. Baines. That's perfectly right. May I see the grave now, please, Father? I'm sorry to have been so brusque just now, but it's very urgent that I see his grave. I understand, Miss Baines. You might gain some solace from just being near the grave. I see now, where are we? Some place close by here. Yeah? Aye. Here we are. Mm -hmm. What sort of a disturbed person would violate a grave? He did it. My husband, the man that you buried, this grave was not dug up, it was dug out from the inside. Look, Father, there are no shovel marks. The earth was heaved up and out. And the coffin, look, the wood is splintered, just as if it had exploded. Hmm. Well, uh, come on, let's go. You coming? You blessed the grave. Evil defiled it. Now, is that a personal defeat that you cannot accept? I cannot accept your own theory. And yours? Well, your husband won a lot of money. Perhaps he made some enemies. Why would they want his body? There is no proof that the body I laid to rest was your husband's. It was Mark's body. The graves have been vandalized before. Vandalized? Unfortunately, they will be vandalized again. Just as long as priests remain blind. It's apparent to me that the police should be notified. That's IL-3, Section 1. 
You'll find what's left at the grave. Yeah, I'll take a quick look. Say, tell me, Leo, what exactly do you hope to find? I really don't know. These kind of creeps really get me down. Good night. that God is the ultimate source of good? That's not a serious question. Do you? What's your point? My point is that if you do, you must believe in an evil force opposing God, capable of causing destruction. Not in the form of a 300-year-old hand that crawls. No! <laughs> Nothing. I finished my report and I left. We heard a gunshot. <laughs> I didn't. You certainly left in a mighty hurry. A call came in. What's the matter with you, Father? You're beginning to sound like a cop. We found a body. Its left hand severed off. Maybe a cult of uh, weirdos out to cast a spell. Maybe a group trying to appease an angry god, huh, Father? It's a possibility. That stuff looks in the rain. It's been a long time since I've been in one. It's 
see if I can find you a sparring partner. All right. How about Royce? How about me? All right. You're on. Father, I need your help. Did you speak with Sergeant Matson? Better than that, I fought with him. And he doesn't have any superhuman powers. It was a friendly match. Well, then the hand does not possess Sergeant Matson. Well, there's another line of reason. Oh, that there is no hand, right? Miss Baines, you're distraught, grieved, emotionally wrought. Father. I'm staying at the Cottage Inn, Bungalow 17, the number's on the card, and I'll be there until I destroy the hand. Sergeant Matson, isn't it? I asked about your car. Yes, it's my car. It's rented. Stolen. What? You can't be serious. You remember me. I met you with Father Cunningham last night. Well, I, excuse me, I mean, I have a rental contract if you want to see that. I'm not a car thief. Right now you're a suspect, and suspects have to go to the station. Now, wait a minute. I mean, have I got a choice? We all have choices, man. Well, you're not giving me any. You're wasting time. You are making a big mistake. You're under arrest. Oh, what the hell is this all about? You know what the hell it's all about. <laughs> Kill you. Why 
did she seek me out? Why did you send her to me? I want to help her, but how can I help her when I have so many of my own personal doubts? Father, I ask you for your strength and your guidance. What are you going to do with the hand? In a word, it's your gift. You set it free. Now it's yours. No straps, no gas, just cut. In the name of God, don't do it! In the name of evil, you and I must obey. It's going to be very painful, because this cauterizes as it cuts. Uh. Mrs. Baines is not in the room yet. Would you tell her that Father Cunningham called? And for her to give me a call no matter what time she comes in. Okay. Thank you, Father. Oh, <laughs> 
religion, sword of belief. That's part of it, yes. Mm. Do you believe that there is a hand? Well, there's something. Do you think that this hand will destroy me? It has others who've been vulnerable. Get some sleep, and I'll arrange for police protection for you. Sleep won't help, nor will the police. But you could pray for me. Father, there's a dying man. Can you administer last rites?
The police? What are they going to do? They're going to arrest it, cite it, try it for murder? You think they're going to believe you? They'll believe me. They'll find it and destroy it. The hand will kill again. Fawn, it's dead. It's going to the church.
tale. Death is deliverance. offend me, cut it off and cast it aside, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. to the sea, ashes to the depths, dust to eternal rest, in hope of no resurrection. Thank God it's over, Father. Yes. Here you go. If you'll just sign at the bottom. Thank you. You bet. Thank <laughs> you. 
scare the life out of you. They trap Levi Rogers, brutally break her, and let your mind remove it. Then it will never be completely sane again. Yeah, that should help. Will it last me anymore? No, just calm you down. I sure hope so. Now don't worry, everything's going to be all right. Well, that's debatable. It's often like a bad dream. Well, that's probably exactly what it was. Linda's unfaithful husband found his pleasure is elsewhere. I guess tonight I just brought my wife back from the hospital. Her mental condition was in serious jeopardy, and no one was giving her the help she needed. She was having nightmares, the same horrible dream, night after night, until she couldn't distinguish it from reality. <laughs> Her nightmares chased her, and chased her, and chased her. Rogers left his wife alone often to be in his lover's arms. <laughs> And those times alone were filled with sick, horrible illusions. She couldn't take it any longer. She became demented. She got rid of her nightmares, one at a time.